multiplication by t, when t is multiplied with some other function, when t is in product with some other function like e power at, sin at, cos at, then what is the principle we are going to apply to evaluate Laplace transform? For that, we are going to apply this one, L of t into f of t. L of t into f of t means you need to differentiate minus d by ds L of f of t. You have to differentiate Laplace transform of f of t. You have to differentiate Laplace form of f of t with respect to s when t is in product. When two t's are in product, that means when t square is in product, you will have d square by d square into L of f of t. Like this, if you have t cube in product, you are going to do d cube by dx cube. The fundamental formula for this is this one. L of t power n f of t equal to minus 1 whole power n d power n by ds power n into L of f of t. But when you see while differentiating a Laplace transform function, you will get some differentiation formulas. But what I am saying, you no need to learn all differentiation formulas to evaluate multiplication by t problems. Simply, you know very well, if you have t here, in the place of above t, you may have sin or cos or e power a t. Because Laplace transform of t contains only three functions. They are t sin t cos t e power a t only. But here, what happens? e power a t in product, we go for first shifting theorem. When e power a t is in product with some other functions, we apply first shifting theorem instead of multiplication by t. If you apply multiplication by t, what happens? You have to differentiate. But here, no need to differentiate. Simply replace in first shifting theorem. That's why, so you need to learn when t is in product with sign, when t is in product with cos, then how to apply differentiation formulas. If t sign if you have, you need to differentiate Laplace sign formula. If you have t cos, you have to differentiate Laplace cos formula. That means these standard differentiation formulas we are going to apply these formulas only we are going to use. Differentiation formulae. So here, to differentiate Laplace sign, similarly, to differentiate Laplace cos, we have this, but we are not going to use this one. This one we are not going to use because Instead of this principle, we use first shifting theorem. So if you can remember this differentiation formula, that is enough to evaluate any problem in multiplication by t. The first formula is to differentiate Laplace sign. That means if you have in the place of f of t sign, you need to use these two formulas. d by dx of 1 by x minus 1 by x square d by dx of x square 2x. Similarly, to differentiate Laplace cos, if you have cos, d by dx of u by v root, you know this, v u dash minus u v dash by v square. When e power a t is in product, we are not going to use this one. Instead of this, we are going to use first shifting theorem integral, sorry, differentiation of 1 by x, differentiation of 1 by x, the same formula which we are using for sign, but this is no need, here we are going to apply first shifting theorem. Now I will show you few problems where we are going to apply multiplication by t principle. So when t is in product, these are the principles you need to remember. 
when t is in product, remember minus d by ds. When t is in product, you need to differentiate Laplace formula. For differentiating Laplace formula, what are the differentiation formulas you need to learn? These. That we will discuss in detail with some examples. L of t sin 2t if you are having. L of t sin 2t. L of t sin 2t means if you have t, simply write minus d by ds. L of sin 2t. You know very well this formula. L of sin a t equal to a by a square plus a square. This formula you know. So here a is 2 a is 2 minus d by ds 2 by a square plus 2 square. Now take that 2 as constant, we can take that one d by ds 1 by s square plus 4. Now treat this one as x. Treat this total term as x. What is differentiation of 1 by x? Differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So minus 2 constant minus 1 by s square plus 4 whole square. Again, differentiate this internal term differentiation of s square to s. So multiply mark minus into minus plus 2 to the 4 s by s square plus 4 whole square. So that is answer for L of t sin 2t. You have a small technique to find the answer before evaluation. If you have here L of t sin 2t, here if you have 2, 2 to the 4 s by s square plus 4 whole square. If you have 3 here, 2 3s are 6 s by 3 square, s square plus 3 square whole square. If you have 4 here, 2 4s are 8 s by s square plus 4 square whole square. Like that, one can easily identify the solution of the problem before solving. Next, if you have cos in product, L of t cos t if you have. Then you have t is in product, simply write minus d by ds L of cos t. What is L of cos a t? We know L of cos a t formula. L of cos a t is s by s square plus a square. Okay. Now here minus d by ds s by s square plus 1 because a value is 1 here. Now apply u by v root. u by v. That rule you know v u dash minus u v dash by v square. That means minus s square plus 1 into differentiation of s1 minus s into differentiation of s square to s by s square plus 1 whole square. Denominator into differentiation of numerator minus numerator into differentiation of denominator. So, s square plus 1 into differentiation of s1, s into differentiation of s square to s. So, finally, what you will get? Minus s square plus 1 minus 2 s square by s square plus 1 whole square. So, here s square minus 2 s square you will get minus s square plus 1 by s yes, square plus 1 whole square. If you multiply with minus, minus into minus plus s square, minus into plus minus 1 by s yes, square plus 1 whole square. So like this one can easily evaluate L of t cos t. If a is 1, you will get s square minus 1 by s square plus 1. If a is 2, s square minus 4 by s square plus 4 whole square. Like that one can easily guess the answer in multiplication by t. So this is the way how we are going to evaluate when t is in product. But what I am saying, when t is in product with e power at, don't use multiplication by t rule, use first shifting theorem. 
but you will get same answer if you use multiplication by t or plus 15 theorem. What I am saying, these type of problems, L of t e power 2t, that can be evaluated using plus 15, not with multiplication. Plus 15 theorem is easy. In one step, you will get the answer. L of e power 2t, sorry, L of t, plus 15 theorem means L of t replace s by s minus 2. What is L of t? 1 by s by right in the place of s, s minus 2, 1 by s minus 2 whole square. Problem over. If you want to do using uh, first shifting theorem, sorry, multiplication by t like this, you need to differentiate e power 2t formula one time using this formula. If you do like that also, you will get same answer. What I am saying, whenever e power a t is in product with t, you can do that problem in two models, either using first shifting theorem or multiplication by t. But prefer, First shifting theorem because first shifting theorem is easier than multiplication by t. Pretty clear? Any doubts in your answer?